I'll start this off just to, to give us a good example. Um, and, and I'm excited to hear what you guys have to say about this, but going to stick with the Chicago Bears on this one, the game that Carm and I obviously were locked in on uh, in the noon window today, at least noon central window. Um, but I am sure that Kayla Williams is going to be really, really, really good. I am unsure, though, that he is going to able be able to chase down Jaden Daniels for Rookie of the Year because he got behind. It's still pretty early in this season, but despite Caleb, I think if you're going to go head-to-head, probably you give the nod to Caleb today over Jaden Daniels. Jaden Daniels did have a red zone interception today. Caleb took care of the ball, um, but Jaden Daniels still had a pretty nice game overall. That commander's offense humming, and as long as they keep winning games, it's going to be tough for Caleb Williams, who has a gauntlet of a second half of the schedule uh, this season to really chase Jaden Daniels down. But regardless, I am sure, guys, absolutely sure, even after just five weeks, that Caleb Williams is going to be really, really good. I have so many thoughts on on this. I'm thrilled to talk to you guys about this, okay? Because I, I get to watch your show, but I don't get to participate in your show. And I don't mean to turn this into a, a bear show. But I, I want to know at, at what point does the dialogue in Chicago turn into whether they drafted the wrong quarterback? Is that is that something that ever comes up? Is the fact that Caleb Williams looks good, does does that eliminate the conversation about what's happening in in uh, Washington because I I think back to 2012 when RG3 was great but 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 Andrew Luck just just looked like the surefire pick all along right and 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 so you didn't necessarily second guess it then is there second guessing in Chicago right now because you are right Caleb Williams looks good Jaden Daniels looks better Carm you want to take that yeah uh, so listen um it's interesting what you're teeing up here, Zach, because for me, Bears fans love to talk about that they made the greatest trade of all time in, you know, sending the pick, to, uh, you know, their pick, the number one pick to Carolina, who of course drafted Bryce Young and getting the nine pick and trading back and getting Darnell Wright and ultimately ending up with Caleb and Tyreek Stevenson. And, you know, it, and they have their second round pick next year. Greatest trade of all time. We talked about it on the show today. The Offensive Rookie of the Year last year was C.J. Stroud. C.J. Stroud threw for 330 more yards today. C.J. Stroud is telling Caleb Williams all is going to be okay in year two when Caleb's struggling and Caleb's blowing him off. So this guy did historic things last year. He's doing them again in year two, but yet Bears fans love to talk about this is the greatest trade of all time, and that he wouldn't have done that in Chicago. Meanwhile, he's doing it in, in Houston, which is not exactly you know the land of uh, the plenty down there, but it has once CJ landed. Plus the fact that now you got Jaden Daniels, who's looking phenomenal. So there's a lot in here, as to me, a couple of layers on whether the Bears did the right thing here, because... As much as I enjoyed watching Caleb today, if I had to pick between Caleb and CJ right now, I would take CJ. Most Bears fans kind of twist around and somehow just say that that's not even a relevant thing, which to me, I find it to be incredibly relevant. So that's my long-winded answer to what you're teeing up. Well, Zach, I'm interested in your response to that because Carmen and I have done this many, many times before um, because he just loves C.J. Stroud so much. Of course, he didn't love him before the draft. I, I loved him before the draft. I didn't. Carm loves him now. Um, right. But, you know, I I don't know. Does 304 passing yards, two touchdowns, and no interceptions do anything for anybody? I mean, what, don't you think the Jets would love that very Aaron Rodgers-like line uh, today, at least vintage Aaron Rodgers? Because that's an Aaron Rodgers game right there uh instead they got the aaron Rodgers that threw three interceptions today um i think a lot of teams around the league would take 304 two touchdowns and no turnovers and that's what caleb williams did just week five and he had another he had a pretty good game last week too no turnovers the last two weeks zach and i'm sorry maybe i'll have some time to do this before tomorrow's show just haven't had a chance to look at it. but i'm going to start i'd love to compare where cj stroud was through five weeks last season because this was right about the time that he really started getting going towards that rookie of the year push but people forget the first couple weeks weren't great now Caleb does have four interceptions I believe uh, CJ Stroud went 
deep into the season with just two interceptions, if I remember right, last year because he had that really long streak where he wasn't turning the ball over. Um, it's way too early to be having those types of conversations still. I get it. because But the thing is, though, Zach, that, that people got to focus in on, it's, it's not just C.J. Stroud versus Caleb Williams. It's Caleb Williams and everything else they got in that trade versus just standing uh, pat and C.J. Stroud. I, I, I was speaking about Caleb Williams versus uh, Jaden Daniels more so than uh, Stroud. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I like the deal that they made last year. I, I just think you you looked at those at those two QB at those two QBs one and two this year. That said, what I think is also an interesting conversation for uh, Bears fans when I watch Washington because I, I I have watched quite a bit of them is when you see Cliff Kingsbury's system there. And I saw a story in the Washington Post last week that Kingsbury said. You know, the Bears and the Eagles were interested in him. They chose other coaches. He would have gone to both those spots. Uh, that that Washington offense looks far more quarterback friendly than what I've seen Caleb Williams run in Chicago. So, wait, hold on. Zach, are you saying that if you could have right now, today, you can have Daniels or Caleb, who are you taking? Long term, I, I would still take Caleb Williams, but I'm, I'm oh. not positive on it uh, because of the way Jaden Daniels has looked during this first month. Uh, he's so dynamic with the ball. He's so accurate. You know, he had a pass that down the left sideline today, Terry McLaurin dropped it, but it like it, you, you couldn't throw a better pass. And, and so I was, I was kind of reacting to the rookie of the year conversation where, at, you know, I, I think back to 2012 where RG three was better as a rookie, but long-term Andrew Luck was the, was the better quarterback. I still think that's the outcome here. But I am uh, I'm I'm not certain on 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 I'm not as certain on that as I was in 2012. Yeah, and and that you know getting back to how this all got teed up, I mean that's kind of where I, the good thing though, Zach, is I I think a lot of people feel really good about the quarterback that the Bears drafted. And w did it take a couple weeks to get going? Absolutely. Um, but you know. Today looked pretty good, and I get that it can't happen against the Panthers, but this was the type of uh, a game where you're just you're facing the opponent you have today, and you take advantage of it. And I think that that's where I'm coming at, where I'm sure he's going to be good. I am unsure that he's going to be able to hunt down Jaden Daniels for that Rookie of the Year award. But I'll tell you what, it would not shock me. You guys know this. I mean, we, we've all been around the league long enough. These storylines tend to change very, very quickly. And oh, by the way, in just a couple weeks, uh, well, really three weeks now, these two quarterbacks will face each other in Washington. Bears go to London next week, then they have their bye, and then they go to Washington. Uh, and they'll they'll be able to go head-to-head, -head, and that'll be a fun matchup kind of looking ahead a few weeks. We all silly like the mayor. 